All right. So today we're going to talk about statistical arbitrage trading, and it is also referred to as pair trading. And uh, in this example, what I'm going to show you is a trade setup on Brent versus WTI. And so uh, let's say that uh, on this historical price chart, we have a period of high price difference. And uh, if we, for example, find a period of low price difference, we are able to find a profitable trading opportunity by, for example, buying WTI and selling Brent at this point. And here I'm visualizing the closure of both trades, uh, which would imply that WTI is close in a profit and Brent would be close in a slight loss. So this example is referred to as a statistic arbitrage. And so what it means is that it is the act of buying and selling two correlated assets. And as mentioned, uh, it is also referred to as stat arp or pair trading. So how do we find statistical arbitrage opportunities? First of all, we have to find two correlated assets. And after that, we have to identify periods of high price deviations. And third, we then after we identify these high price deviations, we need to hedge the positions. So we need to buy and sell the correlated assets at the same time. And lastly, uh, once uh, we are uh, hedged, we need to find uh, periods where the deviation is low to close uh, the trades in a profit. So examples where we can apply statistical arbitrage strategies would be uh, Brent versus WTI or uh, the Dow Jones versus DAX. These are stock indices. Or we can also apply it in agriculture like corn versus wheat. So there are many ways to find correlated assets in the markets. And it's just a matter of time and research to identify those. So today uh, we're going to use Python to uh, run a startup strategy. So what we have on the left side is Active Trades or MetaTrader 5. Uh, Active Trades is a broker who uh, will provide us with historical price data, and we will use Python to extract that data. So one. Quick word about Active Trades. Active Trades is an online CFD broker offering trading on MetaTrader 5. So you can check them out. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions. And so with Python, we're going to uh, use Python to calculate correlation between two correlated assets. Then we're go going to identify uh, such trading opportunities. And lastly, we're going to run a backtest on a startup strategy to see how much money we would have generated uh, over a certain period of time. So uh, to extract the historical data, uh, I'm going to provide you with a very simple code. So we're setting the start date time to uh, start equals date time since the year 2015. And we're going to set the end uh, date time to now, which would be July 2024. So let's say we have a function that is able to extract OHLC data from MetaTrader 5. Here we're using the uh, ticker symbol Brent, which stands for Brent Oil. And we are extracting the D1 uh, charts with the start and the end date times uh, specified here. So we're going to save the data frame into the variable S1. And this is what the data frame looks like. We have our time column and the open, high, lows, close columns. Uh, columns. Next, uh, we're going to extract uh, price data from WTI. And in this case, we're going to use the same function. Uh, the uh, ticker name at Active Trades is LCRUD for WTI. And here we have a same looking data frame saved in S2. And uh, so our next uh, task is to actually take the open prices and put them into a single data frame. We can do that by using the merge method in Pandas. So we take our open prices from S1 and our open price from S2 using merge. And the resulting data frame looks something like this. After merging, I have renamed the columns uh, to Brent Oil Price and WTI Oil Price. And so what we see here is side by side how the prices look uh, next to each other. So to visualize uh, the new newly created data frame, we can show you the uh, historical prices on Brent Oil and WTI, WTI Oil. And using Plotly Express, uh, we can generate this very nice looking line chart, which by the way is the chart that I've shown you uh, at the start of this presentation. So uh, 
now that we are able to um, you know extract the data display the price the prices we can now start to look for price differences so first thing first uh, before we can even uh, assume that we can start a startup strategy we need to confirm that uh, there is in fact correlation between two assets and by using the pandas.core method we can calculate the the correlation and in this case the correlation between brent and wti oil is 98.7 percent which is very correlated all right so now we've gone through all uh you know the introductions technicalities we need to know now this is the most important part how to find trading setups uh, for a startup strategy so today what i'm going to show you is a very simple strategy that is based on bollinger bands uh, bollinger bands are very common commonly used for mean reversion strategies and to um, find these strategies we first need to calculate the price difference between uh, brent oil and wti oil and for this setup we're going to use the uh, period 200 so we're going to extract the last 200 candles and we're going to calculate the simple moving average standard deviation and then the lower upper band lower and upper band for the bollinger band and to get the bollinger band it is simply just calculating the moving average and then the calculate the standard deviation and to show you how it looks so basically the simple moving average is uh, the average price over the last 200 candles the standard deviation is the standard deviation using the method STD and here in this example lower and upper upper band are two standard deviations away from the simple moving average so looking at the chart below we see the lower and upper band and based on the examples that I've shown before uh, a good uh, trading opportunity would be to buy and in this case buying the difference implies that we're longing brand and shorting WTI so buying here would be uh, very good and if the price crosses uh, above the upper band uh, it would be a good selling opportunity and in this case selling means uh, shorting brand and longing WTI so uh, I'm just gonna going to list uh, the strategy in quick points so we're buying uh, when the price difference crosses below lower band we are selling uh, when price difference crosses above upper band and then we will set the stop loss and take profit to two standard deviations away from the entry price so let's now run the back test first we need to generate the signals and what i'm going to do first is i have to uh, calculate the number of standard deviations away from the current uh, simple moving average so distance from the mean is equal to the price difference minus the simple moving average and then i want to convert that distance into uh, standard deviation units so we do that by taking the distance from the mean divided by the standard deviation so just to show you what it represents uh, visually is that the red line represents a simple moving average and uh, the current price uh, distance from the simple moving average is the distance from mean and by taking the standard deviation so if we divide the standard deviation uh, take the yellow line and divide it we will get the deviations from mean which this uh, value represents so uh, here we are defining our signal function that uh, basically tells our strategy to buy or sell so if our deviations from mean is greater or equal to two we are going to sell and if the deviations from mean is less or equal to minus two we are going to buy so um, in this case as I've shown before, so when the blue line crosses below the lower band, it means that uh, the current price is more than two standard devi deviations away from uh, the mean. And so this would be our buy signal. And when the price is above this upper band, we are going to sell. So let, let's now run the back test. And here are the initial strategy parameters. So we're setting uh, the initial balance of the account to 10,000 US dollars and we're going to trade 1000 units of oil uh, so when we're hedging so buying and selling each position has 1000 units and the commission uh, is set to 0.2 dollars uh, for a total hedge 
So uh, here I'm specifying the strategy logic. So if the signal is by, we're going to enter into the hedge uh, with the volume 1000 and the same thing uh, we will apply for sell positions. So using our backtester, we are setting the exchange rates and commissions. So because we're trading in US dollars, uh, the exchange rate is one. And here you see that commission is set to 0 0.2 cents. So uh, here are the backtest results. So our strategy has generated uh, some trades. So these trades uh, generated some PL curve over a certain period of time. We see that there are some losses in the beginning, but overall the strategy generated a very nice profit of 26.7k uh, US dollars. And if you're interested in the visual uh, side of the trades, so here we see the trades visualized on the histor historical price chart. So the red line represents a loss. So when the price crossed below the lower band, it entered a buy position and unfortunately disclosed a loss. But right after uh, there was a profitable trade. Again, here we see that the price crossed above the upper band. Again, uh, it realized a loss, but after that we re-entered the position into short and made another profit here. Then over the rest of the back test, we see that the price was uh, ranging uh, a lot, which uh, was very favorable for, for a strategy as uh, it is a mean reversion, reversion strategy. And for that reason, we made only profits uh, after you know those two initial losses. So this is uh, pretty much it for the presentation. So thank you very much for watching. You can download the presentation at atjtraders.com. And if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to leave a comment in the, uh, in the comment section below. So again, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.